Hello, I'm going to do the Taurus Weekly Energy for July 5th to the 11th. Oh. As we all know, I'm a terrible shuffler. I agree. <laughs> <coughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. And this may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Don't try to force anything. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Who needs to hear a message today for Taurus? So we have Ten of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Hierophant, we have the Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, Four of Swords, oh, we have the, the Five of Pentacles is reversed, all right. We have Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Hangman. I feel like there was something that you've moved on from and, and it's, it's unstuck you. Like it's, it's now you're moving forward because you're not feeling stuck anymore. There was something that you had to work through. I feel like when I saw this picture and I saw this deer looking over this person, I feel like there's somebody watching over you. I feel like there's somebody looking over you. I feel like there's somebody that's, I don't know, for some reason I just felt really strong that there's someone that's looking over you. There's someone that's trying to help you. There's someone that's trying to help push you forward and is, is, is watching you but it's almost like they're, they're helping you because we have this sun that's going, you know, this, this energy, this sun, whatever that may be, that is coming through these swords um, to help clear your energy. And then it was like I was feeling that energy, and then down here I was starting to feel better. And then when the Five of Pentacles came out, and I was like, oh, okay, so that's unstuck you. And then we have the Knight of Swords, and he has his sword you know, up in the air and ready to charge forward. And then that's charging forward right towards this three of cups, right towards this happiness, right towards this, you know, feeling so much better. And then we have the hangman. So it's all about perspective this week. You know, it's about, I feel like maybe at the beginning of the week, you're feeling a little, you know, you're tired, you're feeling, you know, that you've just been through a lot, you're kind of in this Five of Cups energy, but there are some things that you have to move on from, there's some things that you have to let go of. Maybe there's been something that you've just been thinking about too much, like maybe it's just something that you've had going around in your mind too much, and it's really, sometimes we just keep thinking about something and thinking about something, and we're thinking, but it's really not helping anything. If anything, it's just, just hurting us. Or maybe you're holding on to some negative energy. You know, maybe somebody said something or did something that you're holding on to. And, you know, that's making you tired. Or maybe it's a situation that happened that you're holding on to that energy. And it's really not doing you any good. Like, it's not going to solve anything. Keeping that energy, you know, in your mind and keep going around with that. And once you're able to let that go, then I feel that you're, you'll feel better and you'll feel it's exhausting going through mental, um, like thinking about things all the time and always worrying about things and stressing about things. And it is exhausting doing that. Um, just because it's not something that's physical doesn't mean you can't be tired from it. And I just feel like you're tired from, from something mentally that you keep hanging on to. It could be a relationship that you're, a past relationship that you're hanging on to. But I feel like once you let that go, then you'll feel exhausted but then you'll feel like you can finally move forward and I feel like this week is 
that you just have to look at it from a different perspective. Why am I holding on to this? Why am I running this through my mind all the time? Why am I, um, <clears throat> why am I doing that? Because what benefits is that bringing to me? That's not helping to solve or to change the situation. And I think once you realize that, then you're able to move forward, that you're able to release that. And I feel like by the end of the week, you'll definitely feel better. Or the end of, the, of this process. But I feel like the beginning of the process is, is the hangman and it's about your perspective. And that's what you have to change. Your perspective on this situation. But like I said, I do feel that there is somebody looking over you and there's somebody, maybe there's somebody that's trying to give you signs, somebody that's trying to give you signals um, to say that you need to let it go. Look at that. That's Princess of Cup is the awakening of intuition. Um, and maybe you'll get some stronger feelings about something and, and knowing that you have to let that go and you have to move on from it, you know. Um, <clears throat> seven of pentacles is hard work and patience is rewarded and I feel like you will be rewarded from that and that's this down here is this three of cups and moving forward okay let's do this five of cups and yeah once you let that go you'll you'll I feel like you're just going to feel free. You're going to feel a lot better. Um, and then let's do the hangman. Sometimes, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, looking towards that, looking towards this feeling, feeling better, feeling... Maybe it's looking towards focusing on the, your family, focusing on those people that are there to support you, focusing or being with people that are supportive of you um, from a situation, from this situation. And that's what you have to, you know, if you have to lean on someone, go ahead and do that um, to help you get through this. Um, But I definitely feel that it's something that you can get past. And you'll definitely feel better. That things, things are definitely going to get better. All right, let's see. <clears throat> but, the, but the key is, is your perspective in it. If you don't make the effort to change it, then things aren't going to change. But I feel like you'll you'll feel things inside, like your your inner voice will tell you, you know, wh what the direction is that you need to go to get past this and what it is that you need to let go of. And just asking yourself, why am I holding on to it? We have the Sage of Flames, and that is the Queen of Wands, okay? I feel like it's almost like a cleansing, like a clarity. Um, I'm not sure what that symbol is, but... Um, for some reason, like with the with this fires and these energies, I feel like it's a see how that it's sort of flowing better through through her, like it's flowing through her, and I feel like maybe something sort of stopped within you, like there's some a blockage somewhere, and that that has to be cleared, and then things can flow better, and that's what this is down here, like that energy has to flow. And then the, the Queen of Wands is somebody who, who gets moving. So I, f I feel like there's energies within that need to flow. I feel like there might be a blockage somewhere. 
within. But again, it's about your perspective. And if you have to lean on people that you that you trust and you can count on, then that's what you need to do to get things flowing again. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.